I had a very wise aunt who said, you have 15 minutes to feel whatever you want to feel. Set a timer. It's great. Things happen in life and it is messed up. So it is great to feel your way through it, but you can't change it. So at the end of that 15 minutes, you better have come up with a choice of what you're going to do next. Because after that, you can't go back. So what's your choice for going forward? And just by taking that advice, by taking her sage wisdom, and it was my Aunt Judy, by the way, and saying, okay, I'm going to implement this. She's right. I can't do anything about what has happened. So let me feel all my feels at once. Let me do what I need to do to process this. But let me time box that Mm -hmm. and really allow myself to get through it, not around it, not suppress it, but let me get through what I need to get through and have an outcome at the end. What am I going to do about it? Mm -hmm. And by feeling all those emotions, then I was able to really take those packets of information and make a clear choice. Mm -hmm. And move forward from there and feel like I'd processed it. And the more I practiced that and the more I practiced that, the more that time dropped and the more that time dropped and the more that time dropped until it almost became like an innate thing that happened where an emotion would arise and I would be able to quickly process it and go, okay, well, I I can't change what just happened, but I can choose how I'm going to move forward from this. And so my choice is this. Mm -hmm. And I could pivot. And I could very quickly navigate the twists and the turns that life was throwing at me without allowing my emotions to become my story. Mm -hmm. That's so well put. I mean, to me, that's that's mastery. Uh, When we talk about mastering something like navigating and managing emotions. It's not, it's easy to think, oh, well, they just, then you just are so good that you just don't have any emotions. And to someone who's not trained, what you're talking about could almost seem like that when you see it real time. But the reality is, it's just, it's, it's going from where I know I've been, where I had to let emotion, uh, you know, take over me for months, months. And I would be, uh, almost debilitated by that emotion and it would direct all of my actions and i felt weak i felt vulnerable i felt you know the opposite of what i was seeking and you're right when when we do have that practice and we are able to recognize this mastery as a process it's just less time and less time and less time then we can start to create goals for ourselves instead of, okay, when something happens, maybe not, not allowing it to be two, multiple months, maybe say, okay, now I'm going to let it be, you know, uh, two weeks. And now I'm going to let it be a week. Now just a couple days. Now just a day. Now a couple hours. Now within an hour, you know, in 30 minutes, down to 15 minutes, down to five, whatever, however you feel you can flow through and just keep getting better and better and better at it. You know, that's, that's to me is a process of mastery because again, mastery is not a, a result. It is a, it is a constant practice. It is a, a level in which we are able to execute a process. 